watching uh, the Arkansas Razorbacks game. I got it on mute. That way YouTube doesn't ding me. Seth's mom uh, brought him a birthday cake. Let me adjust y'all here. <laughs> Sorry for the close-up. Oh, I would have done a morning vlog, but it was pouring rain. And, uh, literally raining out his behind. And honestly, watch you pop off. You better not pop off. And I'm about to get a fly. This fly is about to drive me nuts. He came into the house. Yeah, I washed my hair. I got a Bible study to go to um, with the family. And Nate and Hannah went with Andrew. He's got a co-worker, and they've got a great big swimming pool, so they went swimming. I sure would have liked to have gone swimming, but they don't know me. So I didn't want to really intrude. You know, just because I'm Nate's mom and uh, invade on somebody and go to their swimming pool. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, it's okay. But yeah, I got the house to myself. Seth had his birthday, like I said. Amy made this, uh, oh, what do you call it? It's candles in there. She made like a chocolate brownie and then a chocolate, because Seth's favorite is chocolate cake. So, she made that and brought uh, chocolate ice cream and cookie dough ice cream for the dessert with the cake. And uh, he got a bunch of money for his birthday. I'm trying to get some, I'll just bring the tissue over here. Why not? And so far, Arkansas is winning 7 to 0. They're kicking butt. Go Razorbacks. Woohoo! <laughs> and I watch a Trump rally in North Carolina, Wilmington, right next door to my mom. They were just like right there. No, she wasn't able to go. Her health, she couldn't wait in those long. Her health wouldn't let her wait in those long lines. And it's just as good to be able to watch it on, um, watch the rally on the TV. And just, just as good as anything else. You know what I'm saying? Switch you around over here. Yeah. I like my metal glass cup, metal, because it keeps the ice and water extra cold, and I just really enjoy it. But yeah, I'm going to have an end time Bible study tonight. Hannah's uh, grandpa and grandma are preachers, and so well, I think mainly he is grandpa Ed, and he's a uh, preacher. And, uh, we want to, we're going over, like, I think Israel, and they have, like, worship, where they turn worship music on, and we do a lot of, you know, different worship music, which will be really nice, and stuff like that, and so, it'll be something different. I'm not going to make this too long of a video, because I really don't have much to talk about, um, but last night was wild, y'all, I ain't going to lie. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, it was pretty wild. I did not drink, I promise you, I did not drink. Um, but it was a wild pot day. I will tell you that, whole house full of young people. And all of them were Trump supporters. So, to all of you skeptics out there, Generation Z does have common sense. Now my question is, what about Andrew? And younger than Andrew. What generation are they? Um, generation Z is supposed to like be technically the last generation. But, you know, you've got Andrew. And you got now, Hannah's sister's fixing to have a baby in April. And so, you've got... And I can officially tell now because she announced it on Facebook. <laughs> she announced it on Facebook, so... 
I'm just craving water. Oh, I was craving water. So, anywho, uh, other than that, it was a wild night, like I've repeated. And uh, I slept late. And uh, it's now going on past 5 o'clock. So, the Bible study is at 6.30. So, they'll be picking me up at 6. So, other than that, that's about it, guys. That's really about it. The cake was good. I really liked the cake. And, uh, I'm not too big on chocolate, but I liked it. And so, so the, to that note, I'm going to let you guys go. Have a happy Saturday. I'm going to go finish my ball game and, uh, get ready to head out of here. Love you. Too much love and everything to you guys. See you in the next video. Bye.